Hey, what's going on? It's V from V Love and Tarot. Hope you're doing awesome. Hope you're well. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on big changes. What big changes are on the horizon for you? What is changing when it comes to your finances, your love life, your friendship circle? Um, maybe you're going through something internally. We're going to figure it all out. So we have three piles waiting for you. Um, we're going to go with my tarot here. My change tarot. If you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Stay forever locked in my subconscious for future readings. All right, ready? Pile number one, you have the Queen of Wands. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to face. Make sure they're not facing me. Hold on. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> pile number two. That will be pile number two. Pile number two. You have the hanged man. My daughter and I created this deck out of real leaves. I love to laminate everything in sight. <laughs> if you want to see a deck modification on, on how I put this together, I have it on my... I'll have it linked below. All right, and pile number three, you have the Six of Cups. All right. So I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to your messages. Pile one, Queen of Wands. Pile two, the Hanged Man. Pile three, the Six of Cups. Take more time if you need it. With making your selection, no rush. Timestamps are always below. And if you want to pause, go for it. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's dive into Pound Number One's message with the Queen of Wands. Put it right here so I don't get mess, mix it up. Okay. What's up, Queen of Wands? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. Hope that you can subscribe if you're new. And if you're not, thank you for returning. Thank you for always joining me. So um, let's figure out why we have the Queen of Wands for you. Pound Number One, what big changes are on the horizon for you? Whew. So exciting. What are you expecting? You expecting change in your career, in your finances? Let me know. All right, pound number one. What big changes are happening for you? Pound number one. <clears throat> pound number one. What changes are happening for you? Let me see what, pop, what popped out. All right. <clears throat> Pile number one, you have Great Restraint, Tattoo, that's uh, the I Ching word. You have the Wanderer, the Traveler. <clears throat> you have Shock, the Arousing, Manifestation. And you have Tujen, Socialization. Okay, what's happening here? And bottom of the deck. Is great power, great strength. Queen of Wands. That does signify the Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Let me uh, marinate this a little bit. Marinate, marinate. <clears throat> All right, Queen of Wands friends here, or King of Wands, depends. You know what what, energy, what gender you associate with. Uh, they, her, him. Um, <clears throat> You, Queen of Wands, you are exercising, yeah, some kind of, um, uh, yeah, some kind of resistance or, um, how do I explain? <clears throat> so the change in you is that you are resisting something or you are restraining yourself. I actually don't feel like you're restraining. I think the restraints are being lifted from you, Queen of Wands, because you also got... Yeah, you, yeah. You know why? Because we also have the Traveler. All right, so you have the Queen of Wands with the Magician here. Queen of Wands, Magician, great power and strength. And how could you be restraining yourself and still be able to socialize? That's why I feel I feel like you're re removing the chains from you. That's that's the change. Is that you're removing the chains, like uh, Nick Jonas would say. These chains, 
But I wouldn't change. Maybe that's how you felt before, that you didn't want to change. You were, you were comfortable in the situation you were in, or the religion, the relationship, your lifestyle. But now you're removing those restraints. Great restraints that you're removing that. The wanderer, the traveler, you're moving on along. Shock, the arousing manifestation. That goes with the queen of wands. <clears throat> and with the great power, great strength. And then you have so socialization. So I think for, for you, pile number one, um, they're, they're, oh my gosh, <sighs> I'm getting that energy. Um, you are removing the chains from you. You're removing uh, limiting beliefs. You're removing, your, you're, you're actually moving yourself out of a, a relationship or out of a place that doesn't serve you, out of, um, what's it called? Something that's, you know, that kept you confined. So whatever that may be for you, let me know, let me know what that means for you. Um, uh, it could be a way of thinking, like the Eight of Swords. No, I'm too afraid. No, no, no. It's not going to work out for me. I'll just stay here where it's comfortable. There's no way that my luck is going to change. Ah, and what if I fail? And no, you're taking the Eight of Swords out of you, out of the equation, and you're moving forward. You got the Wands. I'm sorry, the Wanderer. The Wands. Oh, and yep, yep, yep. Wands. Queen of Wands. You got the Wanderer. <sighs> the Traveler. You're moving along, my friends. So that is what's changing in your environment. Just like this big fat leaf doesn't stay like this forever. I mean, it does in this laminated card, but in reality, leaves change, right? And that's what's happening with you. You're, you're like, you're finding some kind of freedom. I'm gonna drink to this my cosmic cranberry. Not sponsored, but I freaking love kombucha. This is my favorite. I'll drink any type of kombucha. It's fermented tea with a little bit of fruits and stuff, and black tea and all that, all that good stuff. So let's drink to this. Welcome in this beautiful energy. Awesome. Oh, let's figure out what um what the energy looks like around you. Pound number one. <clears throat> Pound number one. Ooh, what are the feelings? What's the energy surrounding this change for you? Pound number one. This is my feelings in Bloom Oracle. What's the change? You know? Um, no. What's the energy around this change? Pound number one. I want to know more. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I'm telling you that the chains, the, 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 the restrictions, the restraints, I feel this is all your past energy. <clears throat> this is what you felt. You felt blocked. You felt, um... Doc blocked. You know what word I want, really want to say, right? Doc blocked. You felt like somebody was preventing you from doing something, for, for, from experience some, experiencing something, from achieving something. You know, someone, you know, stopping your happiness, stopping your joy, getting in the way. No more. No more, my friend. No more. No, no, no. You see how these little things are pushing through? See, that's what you felt. You were blocked. But underneath it says, I will push through. Yep. You are getting out of this energy. Goodbye, goodbye. It's not serving me anymore. And the yellow, per, yeah, personal power. A lot of gold yellow. You're socializing more. You're getting yourself out there. You're mingling. Maybe you're finding a new group of friends. Maybe you're finding a new person to be in a relationship with. Oh my gosh. Freaking amazing. All right, you have, <clears throat> underneath the deck, you have judgmental. So maybe that's you need to make appropriate discernments for the new territory you're stepping into don't just um you know get together with whoever just because they're interested in you or or don't just you know apply for whatever job because you now you're a free bird you can do whatever you want make sure you're being very intentional and yeah judgmental making appropriate decisions for yourself um i will expand my mind Ooh, needing to expand your horizons that's what's happening you're socializing you're mingling freaking awesome mysterious there's more to me than what you see yep there's more to what you're getting yourself into than what you see that's why you need to make good decisions you know when you step into new waters new uh, territory Totally test it out first before you say, yeah, let's go hop in the, in the hay. Wait a minute. Who are you? Are you clean? Do you have any diseases? Do you X, Y, and Z? How many partners have you had? <laughs> are you dating anybody before we do this? You know, or, oh, this is a cool religion. Wait a minute. What are the requirements? What, what, what's it like? 
Am I gonna, you know, get smacked on my on the hand if I don't come to, you know, come to pray with you on on Sunday every every, you know, ten o'clock on the dot? And are you gonna look at me a certain way if if I miss a mass here or you know you know I'm just saying like when you step into this new territory, make sure you read the fine print or you do your research or you feel it out first before you commit. Before you, before you make any impulsive decisions. And you're the queen of wands. So you, what you say go, my friend. What you say goes. You are in control. Go, go, go. You're in control. You got the wands or the traveler. Arousing manifestation. The shock. This is like a tower moment. You even have traumatic event. This is a tower moment. And I think that's probably what you came from. Maybe that's why you're here now. Because you're, you're tired of that. You're tired of that. That. That funkery, that, that chaos, you're ready to push through all that. Freaking amazing. All right. I'm going to use, um, let me use, since we're talking about leaves here. No, <clears throat> I'm going to um, see what your wisdom is. I'm going to pull my fortune cookie oracle. This is also for sale if you're interested. <sighs> what advice do you need for this beautiful change of yours? Explore. If you're like a little fish, you're ready to explore the sea. You're like a little giraffe roaming on the plains, seeing what other new leaves they can eat, or the giraffe can eat. So you're not sticking to just one tree. You're going everywhere. <clears throat> you're going to the water hole. That looks very interesting. You're not going to the water hole that everybody, uh, every other giraffe goes to. You're like, come on, let me, let's, let me explore. Let me expand my mind. Right, let me push through. All right, pile number one. What advice do you need? Implement new routines. Yep, yep, yep. This is like you doing new things in a new way, new scenery, new waterhole, new religion, new relationship, new set of friends, etc., etc. Freaking beautiful. Bottom of the deck, take a leap of faith. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, try new things. Yep, yep, yep. Try new experiences. Figure out what new things you can learn about yourself, what new things you can learn about your environment you're stepping into, because you're breaking the chains, you're, you're breaking the mold, you're breaking limiting through limiting beliefs or things that you thought you couldn't do or you couldn't see, you couldn't achieve. You're taking the blindfolds off, see? That the glass is eight of swords, taking those blindfolds off, taking the swords off, taking the, 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 uh, the t ropes around your, your arms, yeah. And taking the blindfold off the two of swords, your glasses, whatever you want to call them. And you're seeing things for what they really are as well. And beware of hidden agendas. Like I said, don't just roll in the hay just because you're a free bird and you want to explore things, explore people, whatever. Make sure you know who the, the person is that you're experiencing new things with. Beware of hidden agendas, yeah. Read the fine print. That's basically saying before you sign a contract, read what you're signing in the very, very bottom. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonates and freaking beautiful, if not, then, you know, check out another pick-a-card of mine or another pile. And if you want any of our decks, here's my information bar. Or if you want to book a reading with me, there's my information bar. I do have everything on Etsy as well. Take care. I'll see you in the next video on pile number two if you want to keep on watching. What's going on? Pound number two, you chose the hanged man. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for your time, for your essence, your presence. Your beautiful energy. Thank you so much. If you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. And also, if you would like to book a reading with with ma, moi or p purchase any of our 22 decks, I have my information bar right there. And also, everything's on Etsy if you want that as well. If that's easier for you. All right, Hanged Man. Let's figure out why you chose this Hanged Man card. How this resonates for you. Or if it resonates. Let's try to piece it together. All right, pile number two, what big changes on the horizon for you, pile number two? Pile number two, what big change <clears throat> is on the horizon for you, pile number two? Ooh, awakening, remember. Accept and openness, receive. Bottom of the deck. Oh, we talk about change, and we got leaves, and that's exactly what we have here. <laughs> oh, ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ace of Earth, and Crossroads Decisions. Oh, that makes sense because you are the hanged man. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. 
freaking beautiful. I love how everything is in sync. And I will pull my, I'm going to pull my, um, my Audience Delight Oracle because we have a lot of leaves here. So if I can find that, oh, here it is. Yes, we got to tie it all together. Talk about change. We got leaves here. Freaking awesome. All right. So, um, part number two, you have the Remember Awakening. So, so that's how you were feeling hangs men you are uh, um sitting around you know assessing the situation hanging low hanging tight yeah hanging hanging loose yep 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 and you're feeling like okay well i'm not gonna make a move just yet i'm just gonna think i'm gonna get those downloads i'm gonna process things and then you process you get your information you you know just let things come to you as they should and then you're little sh your crown chakra lights up while you're in this stage and then or the state sorry and then you go through your little awakening here where you're like you know what i know what i gotta do now that ball of light hovering over my crown chakra i know what i gotta do i gotta reach for that i gotta reach for that so then you reach for it and you make a decision you got look crossroads you're no more in this indecision energy you know no more hanging tight none, none of that you make a decision and then you have this awakening, this aha, now I know what I need to do. Now I know what I need to change. Now I know what path I should take. So then you, yeah, it's like that ace of swords. You got that aha moment. Now I know what I'm going to do. Look, a lot of hand holding, hand touching, reaching out for the stars, or, um, reaching out for the sun. Um, you couldn't do that before. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe you just didn't have the will. You didn't have the strength or the desire. But now you have it. And look, new beginnings are here for you. And the Ace of Pentacles, it's another hand holding a pentacle. If you, you know, look at the tarot, traditional tarot for the Ace of Pentacles, it's, yeah, it's a sky appearing out of thin air and it's holding something. And, <laughs> and that's what's happening here, my friend. So I don't know what, okay, so let's give scenarios so that we can be on the same page. All right, so for you, this is like, okay, I want to change careers. I really do. But I don't want to make the change right now. Everything's just so comfortable and everything's just so relaxed and, and cool. And, I, and I'm making the good money and I'm, you know, making those friends at my, my job. So it's just very, it's very safe. It feels safe. It feels comfortable. It feels, you know, like what, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Energy. But then eventually you're like, oh, wait a minute, but I'm not happy here. I want more money. I want more tangibleness, you know? I want to be able to move up the ladder and, and make more than what I'm doing now. Or I want to start my own business. And so you, yeah, you take take it back. You just re reassess it. This can also be you waiting for the season to change. You know how you, we feel a burst of energy once the, the crappy season has passed us by and now we're into a new full-blown season and if the energy feels like it's been revitalized and, and refreshed and you're like, nope, now is the time to make my change, just like the season, right? So then you do that and then you, you, yeah, you grasp it. You, you get your aha moment, you go for it. So I think that you are embracing new changes, you are creating new changes for yourself and you're making decisions and that's what's changing for you. You were not able to because you were in the hangs man stage. So that's the past energy. That's probably what you resonate with now. But going forward, you're de you got leaves here, a lot of leaves. You're definitely at the crossroad mark, and you're making a decision. Yep, just like the chalk right there. It's like making a decision to stop at the red light. And then when it's done, it's going to go. And I think that's what you're doing. You were approaching that red light. You stopped. You assessed everything. Contemplated. Chilled out. Re rejuvenated yourself or refreshed yourself so that you can have that newfound energy when the moment felt right. And then you've made a decision. Now you're accepting this decision that you made. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be in this relationship anymore. But let me, um, you know, figure out what, I, how, what I'm going to say to approach my person. Oh, man, what a, what a conversation I'm going to have to make. But look, this is you making a decision. You have to go with it because you, now you got to stick with it. And then you look, you have your aha moment. You remember all the good times you had. You remember um, the things, the struggles, the, the things that made you... Um, feel like you should be in this in this energy you know you remember all those things like i said you're reflecting but then <clears throat> a 
also you're, you're like, okay, what lessons can I learn from this? What were my mistakes? What were my faults? What were my X, Y, and Z? Like I said, and then you, and you embrace new beginnings. Ace. Aces. So I, th I think, okay, another scenario is, all right, shoot, I have to switch careers. Damn it, I, I'm, on the, I'm, I'm, I'm at the brink of getting my degree. Fudge! Ace, this is like the hanged man. Okay, let me think about how am I going to do this? How, can I even do this? Oh my gosh, what paperwork do I have to do? But you make, you make a decision, you're making it, and you're following through with it. You're opening and embracing this. You're waiting, waiting for the abundance to come your way. And then you're remembering, why is it that you weren't happy? Why, why are you making this change? It makes sense to you. And then you welcome in new beginnings. A new job, a new career. You start fresh. You 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 change careers, and, and you know when you're almost about to get your degree, or you you're about to get married, but you have cold feet, and you're like, wait, why am I feeling this way? So you have assessed it, and then you're like, you know what? I don't want to get married. I don't want this relationship. So then you have to do what you have to do, and that's what's changing, is that you are no longer feeling like you can't do anything, or you're no longer feeling. Like you have to just sit there and tolerate the energy that you're in or the situation or the relationship or the religion or the whatever, the lifestyle, or whatever, the diet that you're in. You're making moves. And, you know, this also has a little bit of number one's energy. No, I would say quite a lot of a one, <laughs> number one's energy. Um, whereas, but number one, it was like more in control. Like feeling like there was a lack of control, taking control. This is more like it's in my hands. Nobody's stopping me. It's me, me. I'm, I'm the one getting in my own way. I'm, I'm sitting here in the hangman on the tree for, for the longest time. What, what am I doing? It's all you. you you're, it's in, yeah. You're in control. Yeah, it, yeah. So, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be also another sign. You know, a sign coming through. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else wants to come through. Whew, man. And you know, it's interesting because if you are like in the hangman phase and you feel like you don't want to make a move yet, then don't. It's not time yet, you know? It's not, the, the fruits aren't ripe, ripened yet. The, the, the tree hasn't produced, you know, apple blossoms yet. So don't, don't feel like you have to get off the, hang, the tree, you know? Just, you know, keep, keep on contemplating, you know, uh, refreshing your energy or what's it called, recuperating, because then you'll be able to make a choice when you're ready. You will, and it will bring in Oh my gosh, abundance, acceptance, new friends perhaps. You'll, it'll bring in those good memories, some kind of rewards, and then you have this beautiful Ace of Pentacles coming through saying, you know what, I'm so glad you took time here. So stay diligent, yep. If you have to keep on thinking, if you have to keep on whatever, planning, if you have to th keep on sleeping, if you have to keep on making decisions, if you have to, whatever, it's all right, yeah, look, stay, stay consistent and keep going at your own pace, yeah, look, tranquility, if you need to rest a little bit some more, a little more, go for it, and get those downloads, right, while you're in that, that energy, all right, and you're gonna have a fresh start, and you don't realize that now, because you're like, is this ever gonna work, so you have Shedding <laughs> all this hanged man trees energy. Shedding tree. Let's go. Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. So that's here's another t uh, key piece. You're letting things go. You're gonna get up, get yourself off this hanging man face or state of mind. No more hanging from the tree. You're not gonna feel like you want to be an acorn hanging from a tree anymore or an apple. You're gonna want to shake yourself off this tree, you apple. That's what's gonna happen. Look, look at that, hanged man, just hanging there, hanging tight, hanging loose, whatever you want to call it. Like, you're letting go of the tree. You're not, no longer a leaf on this tree. You're, you're moving on by. Or you're, the wind's going to blow you on by to another uh, relationship, another job, another idea. Wow. See? Beautiful. Look at all this tree action. That's freaking amazing. Um, pumpkin spice seasoning makes everything nice. So you, it's going to add volume or add value to your life, this new change. You're going to love being in this new energy. Ace of Pentacles, potential for beautiful starts, beautiful beginnings. Awesome. This is um, the lovely Whispers of Autumn deck from another creator. 
I don't know if she's selling it anymore, but it's just so beautiful. And it complements my um, Autumn's Delight if you're interested in this one. Here's my information bar if you would like um, one for yourself. All right, all right. What other changes occurring for you? Pound number two. You have Autumn Sunrise Illumination. Hope. New day, new start, new chance. What? Oh, stop. Sorry, I get excited. I love what I do, so I'm not going to say sorry. No, sorry, not sorry. I get excited about what I do. Even in my personal readings, if I see something that excites me, I'm going to let you know. It's freaking beautiful energy that you're stepping into. Freaking awesome. I'm excited. I share that with you. Look at that. All this sun rising business, awakening, a set in openness. The sun is, is rising. It's going high in the sky. And then you got this smack in the middle. It says sunrise, illumination, and hope. New day, new start, new chance. That's what I just said. New beginning, new starts. I just said that here. The Ace of Pentacles. My goodness. So what the change is, is, you know, if you've been feeling like you were in the darkness, feeling like you were left blindfolded or left uh, out in the... Yeah, in the dark, like, you know, just left out or not part of socialization because you were in a situation where you felt stuck or confined or like there was no room for growth. You're getting yourself out of that energy. Look, preparation, abundance. So start preparing now because you're, you're about to reap your rewards. You're about to reap your rewards. All right. Movie nights, cuddles and chill. Take out the popcorn, stay home and cuddle and chill. Maybe that's how you're feeling now. Like you just, you got to assess more. You have to think more. And then you're going to have a rebirth. Oh my gosh, I, I'm done. Let's see what the bottom of the deck says. Illusion. Oh no, intrusion. Let's go back here. Rebirth. Um, because, yeah, intrusion could just say that you have all these ideas, you know, interjecting. Or maybe you have other people interfering with your decision making. So don't let anybody intrude with your plans. Don't let any situation take you off track. You know, stay on track so you can make the right decisions here. You have crossroads. All right, pound number two, what advice do you need? This is my fortune cookie oracle, our very first baby we created. It's for sale if you would like a copy. It's my little information bar. All right, pound number two, what is your awesome, awesome advice for this change? Set the bar high. Wow. Don't settle for less. You, be, you deserve the moon and the stars, the sun and the sky. Yeah, get off the tree, but don't just settle for what's around the tree. Go, go, go far, go high. Go um, achieve your goals. If they, they seem so out of reach, out of hand. No, no, no. It's not out of reach. you got to work your, your way towards it. See, look, work your way towards it. It's there. You just got to walk walk towards it fly towards it ride a bike towards it whatever you need to do <laughs> all right remember the forgotten so it's like you oh my gosh you gotta remember twice what in the world you gotta remember twice remember twice so it's like whatever you're leaving here you know don't let it be part part of just you know don't let it be like out of sight out of mind it's like you know remember what it is that you learned from that energy that, that brought you here in this hanged man stage. Remember the good times, remember the lessons, remember the people that you met, the things that you did, things that you learned, all that stuff. How, why, why are we getting remember? That's interesting. Because you could be moving all that, you could be moving on from people. So just don't neglect them, don't forget them. They're still part of your, your past and part of your future. One last card, stay grounded. <laughs> all this earth energy how could you not stay grounded all this earth energy yeah so you know it, it could say yeah hang, get off the hanging tree yep and now get back to earth put your feet in the ground you've been in, up in limbo for too long you've been in the, in the hanged phase for too long but you know if you need to continue staying there obviously do so trust your intuition use your own discernment but eventually you're going to want to plant your seeds somewhere or do something more, more yeah, grounded. Like you want to stabilize yourself, not be in hanged man, just swinging left and right. You know, you want to want to plant your seeds. You know, watch them grow. All right, so that's what I have for you. Thank you so much. Let's drink to this. I'm gonna drink my cranberry, my cosmic cranberry, my kombucha. Not sponsored. This is just my favorite drink, and I want to have a little blessing towards the end. All right, so thank you for watching. You have a beautiful rest of your day. Lovely pile number three. Lovely pile number three.
What big changes are on the horizon for thee, pile number three, pile number three, much love. What big changes are happening for you, pile number three, new people, new message, new cards, new energy. Let's get into this. Pile number three, when new changes are happening for you. You have the star. Pile number three, when new changes are happening for you, pile number three. You have strength. Oh, you got two majors. Freaking awesome. Freak yeah, freak yeah. All right, what new changes are coming for you? The Page of Air. Page of Swords, sorry. And final card. What new changes are happening for you? Pile number three. Awakening. Well, <clears throat> bingo, you have three majors. So this is a big freaking major event. Big life change happening for you. This is not something minuscule. This is not something that just gets forgotten about. This is something very impactful. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna change the course of your, your life going forward. All right, <clears throat> so the star um, with the strength. Okay, so healing's taking place. A new wave of energy is taking place for you. Finishing a cycle, getting over the tower moment, perhaps if you just had one, getting over um, a big fat change in your life. But then you have a new change. It's like you're, you're ending the cycle of one change that the Tower moment brought. And now you're stepping into a new cycle and it's a new change. It's new territory for you. And you're taking the star's energy. What well, you're 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 healing, you're you're getting yourself out there again, you're you're finding a groove again, you're feeling inspired again, you're you're feeling very optimistic again. There's hope at the end of the day again. And so now you're into this energy and now that's going to help foster foster your new change. Because you're, you're not feeling like you're broken anymore. You're actually, you know, think the, the scales, yeah, the scales are balanced. Six of cups. I'm getting six of pentacles as well. Things are, there's reciprocal energy here, energy exchange. Just like the two cups here being pour, pouring, that's pouring over. Six of cups, yeah, pouring one cup from, from one cup to the other. <clears throat> that's what's happening here. So the balance is here. Oh, you even have awakening. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Awakening. Yep. That's the, ju that's the, ju oh my gosh. That's justice. Yes. Sk thank you. So you got the cups evenly um, distributed and you got the six cups, you know, so, so people um, sharing, showing love and, and helping each other out. And it could be something from your past that you he are healing out. Six of cups. And then you have, look, you're showing your, 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 what you're made of, your strength, your power, your courage, um, the tenacity you have to go forward because you are already completing your cycle and now you're here. So from oppression comes power, from pain comes power, from uh, tower moments come power. Now you're, you're figuring out, okay, I, I weathered that storm. Now I can move on with my life. Good for me. Pat yourself on the back. That's what you should do. Let's drink to that. Not sponsored. I just love my cranberry drink, and I don't want it to go flat because it's already open. Opens cosmic cranberry kombucha. All right, it's a little flat, but I still had a little kick. All right, so then, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're like, you're like stepping into your personal power. You are. So in other words, what didn't kill you made you stronger. Um whatever lessons you just learned from whatever change you just came through, you're bringing that with you so that you're not, you know, made a fool of next time. <laughs> so you're like, wait, I recognize this. I just came from this energy, not not having it, not repeating that cycle, not doing that, not engaging with that, etc. So you, you have learned a lot. You got Page of Swords. You have learned a lot. Yeah, you have an awakening. Yep, you yeah, have moments. And this also could say that you need to assess what you have just gone through. Let it be processed. Let it be part of your, your future as well, not just your past, your future. And then you have a rebirth, you know, taking that with you. It's a rebirth. It's not like you're, yeah, it's the same cycle, but it's a new beginning. So it's the same, your same body, same life, but you're having a rebirth, you know. It's a new, new beginning, new start, new change. Now you have to bring whatever you just learned, whatever you just went through into your new phase. So, um, so what, also what's happening here, oh my gosh, I feel like all three piles, the change is that, 
Something happens within yourself. Something happens within your environment. You're discovering yourself. You're <clears throat> you are stepping into new territory. You are shedding some old skin. Wow, there was something that was there was a card that said something about shedding. Oh, the shedding tree. That oh, okay. So if you feel inclined, um, check out part number two. We have the shedding tree, which is, you know, it's like the hand. So part number two, hanged man, you know, st sitting on the tree for the longest time. And then 10, 15 minutes, as I kept talking, the, the word shedding tree came out. So it's like, okay, are you done with the hanged man phase? Let's keep it moving. No more hanging loose, no more hanging tight. Let's, let's roll off the tree like an acorn and, and keep on going and, and be like the chariot. And, and that's what I feel like you need to hear right now. It's like, all right, now let's keep it moving. You got the strength. You might as well have the chariot as well, which comes before the strength. Because what, what, what didn't kill you made you stronger. And now you're having your awakening. Now you know how to proceed forward. You have learned a lot. Oh, my gosh. Now we have more tree action. So please do, if you feel inclined to. Um, there might be like 10, 15% of your message in pound number two. We have a lot of tree action. Now it's here. <laughs> I was just talking about tree action. And more tree action with the strength card. So, and he's, no, he's sitting on a rock. Okay, good. I was about to say, well, you're sitting on a stump. You might as well be a stump. I don't know. All right, so, you know, I feel like you're you're no longer feeling like you're in a rock in a hard place or between a rock and a hard place. No longer feeling like you're just hanging on a tree, just waiting for the wind to blow the leaf off. You're not a leaf anymore. You're, you're It's time for you to, you know, build and create. So you're like an acorn. You want to get off the tree so you can grow in the dirt and start a new life. That's what I feel is happening. All right, so let me um, let me just, just let me read all this to you, cause uh, you know the Earth in me wants to uh, get all the ducks in a row. Earth sign in me. Okay, so you have have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so let's give examples on how this can resonate. The light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I'm saying. All right, and now you're ready to go in your chariot. And plow through whatever comes your way. Because you have learned a lot. And your strength has... You have built your strength. <sighs> okay. So, for example... I'll do... I'll do... You know, I'll do a little bit of shuffling. I say the examples. For example... You were stuck to a religion. Or not... I'm not going to say stuck. I'm just saying... In, internally, you felt stuck. Like, emotionally, you felt stuck. Only because you maybe you felt like you didn't want to betray your religion. You didn't want to betray your friends, your family, your upbringing, you know, or your parents' decisions to, you know, put you in that religion. So you just hung, hang, hung in there and tolerated it, but tried to make the best of it. And then eventually you felt like, okay, well, there's no room for growth anymore. There's no... I don't see that it pertains to me anymore, so I, sh I think I should just clean myself from this religion or clear myself from this and maybe not have a religion at all, you know, for how, how, however long it takes. Let me feel, see what it's like not to have anything like that. So then you take years or months to kind of fly solo spiritually, and then what do you know? You realize, hey, I don't want anything. I don't want to be tied to anything spiritually i want to be free or plan b oh this looks amazing meditation wow maybe that could be my new religion becoming one with my mind my spirit oh and then you know you try that or tarot oh <laughs> my intuition can be my religion that's how i feel that's my my that's my walk of life that's my my thing my intuition is my religion after being in one religion for so long, for for majority of my years, and then not having anything for so long, and then finally all of a sudden tarot finding me. Whoa, okay, I can actually think with my own intuition or think with my brain and my intuition, I can follow that, what, what? Wow, you know, so anyway, I'm just seeing how this can resonate with you. And another scenario could be, oh, this is what society wants me to do when it comes to love. You know, all your life you were going by what society wanted, you know, by you watching the movies and you, you know, your friends, growing up with your friends that had that, you know, t that typical uh, life that everybody thinks that you should have. And then you're like, oh, I'll follow suit. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, huh? 
This doesn't fit me anymore. Awakening. Aha! This is not what I'm supposed to do. That's why I wasn't happy. That's why I wasn't... I was lacking something. That's why I... I it didn't seem right. Oh! Because I was trying to live, like, what... I was trying to live the life that everybody else wanted me to live, or that the movies and the TV shows wanted me to do, wanted me to live. Oh, but I can make my own rules? Get out of town! So then you kind of have, like, your... Yeah, your... That that urge to st start your new path, start a new change, start a revolution, <clears throat> bring on the Tao moment and, and make a change. And, and that's what's happening here. But it's like the, the, the change is also, <sighs> the change is impacting you, but the energy around you and the people around you. Um, and this reciprocal people. So it's like, it's not just affecting you, it's affecting others as well. And not in a bad way, it's more like, oh, like your, your mom finding out something about you and now they have to adjust to it or understand it or accept it. It's like, oh, but it's being, right, it's being poured right back into you. So it's like understanding reciprocal energy. So it's like, it's like everything's growing with you. Everything's evolving with you, walking the same walk with you. You have peace of mind, feeling really good. And that's what's that is, is happening here too. He's feeling really good, that awakening. What is this? Oh, this is a hanged man. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking this is a judgment day or justice because that did come out in, in my mind but this is another deck so my intuition took me somewhere else because that's the message I needed to tell you and now this freaking makes sense a hundred thousand percent because <laughs> this is a hanged man which was also present in pile number two so a hundred thousand percent if you feel inclined to and if you have time of course you know go with your intuition Check out pile number two for an extended message because that, this is a freaking repeat. But I think this is more of a spiritual repeat. Something you need to hear spiritually. The other one was more of tangible. This is, yeah, more earthly. This is more like, hold up. This is a spiritual transformation. Wow. Hanged man again. All right, strength. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger than you knew. Stronger than yesterday. What doesn't kill you? What doesn't kill you? Make you stronger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Strong enough to live without you. Strong enough. Can't sing. That won't stop me though. But anyway, music comes through because, you know, that it's just like that frequency. You know, you're feeling good about something. And so music comes out. So maybe, you know, listen to those music, those, those songs that I just sang saying and see if the, <laughs> the lyrics mean something for you but you're stepping into your power and it's like oh this is what i'm made of damn it I, i'm 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 pretty strong look at me look what i've weathered what storm i've weathered anyway so a temporary pause for reflection and insight and awakening where you see things in a whole new light embrace your own uniqueness charitable actions oh my gosh so embracing came out part number two pause reflection came out number two with the hangs man telling you um, then you have the page of air, page of swords. So that's you, you know, again, like I said, in pile number two and one, because you're changing the energy, the atmosphere, the connect, whatever, leaving something behind, ste stepping into new territory, make sure you're really um, educating yourself in this new territory, um, researching this new territory, um, testing this new territory out putting your feet in there his feet are not grounded right they're not planted so how can you educate yourself or research if your feet are still up in limbo put your feet you know ground take your shoes off and put your, your toes in the ground and feel it out test the waters before you commit or before you say yeah sure yeah same thing as committing right or before you you know um <clears throat> make an obligation or make some kind of promise or decision really get to know what you're stepping into because this is new territory, I'm telling you, we have an awakening. Yeah, tranquility, you're, yeah, peace of mind. This is a peaceful place, peaceful change. And that can be also what you're feeling right now. You're reflecting. You're in peaceful state of mind in the hangman energy. All right. Disguise. See, you page of swords. So there are things. Oh, part number two also had hidden agendas. So there are things in disguise that you need to look out for during this transition. So, um, examples, um, um, okay, you're making this change, you're making this, you're having this, a pivotal moment 
or whatever it's called, pivotal, or whatever. This trajectory is changing for you, but then you have someone saying, wait, that's not going to work. What are, you, what are you doing? You can't leave this religion. You can't leave this, this, this career. You can't leave this job. You can't. What? You're not in love with me anymore? No, that's not possible. And you're like, wait, what? Who, what the, who the F are you to tell me I can't make this change? Who the F are you? And so this disguise is saying, watch out for the people, the negative Nellies, the Debbie Downers, the, the um, I don't know, the people who, you know, want to advise against it, against your change, or, or just, you know, talk you down or gaslight you. Beware of that. And also beware of you saying, now forget it. This is this is not comfortable. I'm scared. Nah, forget it. It's not gonna work out. You be aware of that energy as well, because you might talk yourself out of it, out of this change. You might go back where it feels comfortable on the tree, on the tree, um, on the rock, not putting your feet on the on the ground, staying up in limbo. You might feel comfortable. So you know, if it feels uncomfortable, if it feels not, if you can't achieve it, if you can't do it, then you know maybe scale back and go back on the tree and, and contemplate some more. You know, don't don't force yourself into something if you really feel it's wrong. Always use your intuition. Um, yeah, I said that again in pile number one. Make good decisions about this new change, about this new territory. Um, but realize that, you know, expanding your comfort zone can help you face your fears, face the change. You know, it's inevitable it's going to happen. So if you prepare and educate yourself, page of sorts, then you'll feel more confident and more comfortable with this new change, this new territory. All right, logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, and exciting intellectual challenge. Brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. But might be challenging to receive. Review all documents carefully. That's what I'm saying. So before you roll in the hay with someone, make sure. Make sure they have, the, you know, they don't have 10 other partners. Make sure they, you know, have protection. Make, you know, P, protection. Make sure that they are... They know your boundaries and what you like and what you don't like, but make sure you really understand before you roll in the hay with this person. Or religion, make sure that, you know, X, Y, and Z, that it, it, it aligns with your beliefs and who you are to the core before you just say, yes, okay, I'm going to be in this religion, you know, for example. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, let me keep going. Let's see what these cards want to say um, and this bottom card. So you, you are the ruler of your own ship, the captain of your own ship. What you say goes. Don't feel like you have to settle down for anything. Do more research. Question authority. Question everything. Cozy blanket. Yeah, see, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You probably feel so comfortable where you are now that you don't want to make this change, but it's going to happen regardless. So embrace the change. Educate yourself on this change or uh, this new energy you're stepping into so you feel more comfortable with the transition. Warmth, keeping your heart warm. And it could say also that where you're moving towards, it's going to feel warm. It's going to feel pe at peace, tranquility. It's going to feel peaceful. So don't fear, my friend. And this, the skies also could say that this change might look scary. But underneath, like I said, if you educate yourself or do research or whatever, learn, pick brains, ask people, then it's not going to feel so scary. There's, there's something underneath of the skies that you can discover, uncover, learn about so yeah it looks so deceiving with that card movie night cuddles and chill take out the popcorn stay home cuddle and chill look cozy blanket with cuddling and chilling i feel that's what's gonna happen when you move into this new energy you're gonna feel so at peace so at home you're gonna nest yourself in this energy in this new change um october fest party celebration time to celebrate i'm done you're gonna you're gonna feel so nested you're gonna be like man i'm so happy i made the decision freaking yeah freak yeah like my husband would say, he's like, I like when you say freak yeah, it's so funny. Freak yeah, freak yeah! <laughs> but he's like, but when I try to say it again, it doesn't come out right. So I have to ha let it happen organically. <laughs> Alright, so let me, um, he's actually in the room with me. That's why I said, I mentioned that part. Alright, no, no, no. Too many cards. Bon voyage, yep, you're leaving something behind. And, and you're stepping into a new territory, like I said. Seek out stability. So you're needing, and, and that's what I was saying with the hanged man, time to ground yourself now. Be stable like a bridge. No more hanging on the tree, just sitting there in limbo. All right. Unshakable foundation. All right, what's your advice? This is a fortune cookie oracle if you're interested, and this was my Autumn's Delight oracle. This was my our, our first baby. This is our second baby. Oh, 
loved by many. If you're interested, my information bar is here, and I also have everything reflected on Etsy. Cheaper. Cheaper by using my information bar. <laughs> um, prepare for unpleasant news. So, yeah, this can just say you might have to tell people about this change, or you might have to hear people's opinions about your change. Or you might, there might be something that might not go with you on the, on this path through this change. So you might, you might, yeah, yeah, another towel moment here. So it might be another towel moment you're stepping into, but it's going to work out just fine. You have all this stability here. You have all these, this energy celebrating. You have six of cups, you know, so you're in some way bringing the past with you. And then you have beware of hidden agendas. That's exactly what happened in Pal 2. Beware of people trying to distract you or, um, you know, deter you or take you off track or beware of your own fears trying to get in the way of your change and discover ancient wisdom. And that's exactly what we're talking about here at Pages Swords. Research your research what you're getting yourself into. What you're signing up for. Don't just say, yeah, I want this cable plan. And then all of a sudden the next bill is like $400. You're like, what the freak? I didn't sign up for that. And then you don't realize that the first month is fifty dollars and the next month is four, the next month is four hundred i'm just i'm being exaggerative but you know just really dive into what you're stepping into like oh i'm not gonna be friends with this community anymore because whatever and then you step into a new community and then you start telling everybody all your secrets and all your you tell everybody everything and then all of a sudden those are betrayers and they start spreading rumors about you so just make sure you feel the water out and then open yourself up layer by layer. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. You have a beautiful day. If you want a personal reading, I would love to do one for you. If you want to book a reading for someone else, like a gift, I do those as well. Or if you want to buy a deck for someone else, I do those as well. I send pretty birthday messages or whatever kind of message you want me to send to the people you're buying a deck for, the person you're buying a deck for, I would love to do that. So, yeah, inbox me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next pick a card.